Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Beyond the Sewing Room, I'm Diane and today I'm going to be sharing with you my latest autumn make. So in my previous video I did say that I was getting on with some of my makes for the autumn and that I would be sharing them with you. Now I did have some brand ambassador fabric uh, that I needed to make up so the first thing that I've done is I've made this fabric up into a dress. Now the dress that I chose, I've made it before but I didn't make it for me so this time I've made it for me although I have to say I have got another dress that is very similar pretty much the same but from a birder magazine pattern that I made quite some time ago pretty much the same shape so it's this one it's the Roscoe and as you can see it's a loose fitting dress and it's got this ruffle around the bottom it goes into a gathering here at the wrist that comes into a small band it has a tight neckline and this can be left open or tied at the front and I'm finding when I wore it the other day I did leave it open because I like the way it falls open and it makes that sort of V effect so it was really comfortable to wear. The thing I changed about this was it's really loose which it's meant to be and you can make it this length you can make it just as a blouse without the ruffle or you can make it a longer length. Now I went for the short length but I wanted to add a belt because I do like things to be belted and I don't know if you're like me but I don't know I just feel more dressed if things fit or fit to me around the middle I know some people like things to be more loose so that'll entirely depend on how you like to wear your clothes so that's what I did I added a belt so just two long rectangles I stitched two together double fold fold again you can either turn it through or just stitch around the outside with top stitching and there you have a belt. You don't need to add belt loops because you don't want to spoil that look in case you do want to wear it like that. Just tie it around. That's what I did. So I'll insert some photographs of me wearing it and I chose the most gorgeous fabric for this. So this is a double gauze. Now I've not used Oh, I have used it for work purposes but I've not made myself anything in double gauze before and now I'm wondering why because I love it because it's so super soft so this is the colour that I chose and it's called Jewel now there are all different colours but I do love these kind of Jewel deep rich tones I think they're just beautiful and I love this shade so here is my belt just hanging around the coat hanger here you can see it's got the tie neck, it all gathers into this neckline here, like this look. Raglan sleeve, gathers into the little mini cuff here. And then you have this ruffle around the bottom. And as you can see it's very loose now, it is oversized, it does say in the pattern instructions that it's an oversized dress. I would really take that into account depending on how you like the fit of your clothing because I made the smallest size for this one but as you can see it is still really roomy and it's meant to be like that so you may find that look at the finished garment size rather than just your standard size look at the finished garment size and decide if you want to size down because if you're like me you might find that you want to size down a little so you don't feel quite so swamped in it because I find if things are too loose on me it doesn't really uh, suit my size and shape so that will entirely depend on you on how you like to wear your clothes so that was the first thing that I made the Roscoe and as I love that double gauze and I do love the overall construction and look and feel and comfiness of that garment I think I'm going to make a blouse in double goes again using that Roscoe pattern again because I just like it and I think it'll just be great for the autumn winter just wearing weird things underneath it and because it's cotton as well and it keeps the heat or it keeps you cool or it keeps your heat it's a funny thing isn't it with cotton but it's nice against your skin anyway so I think I will be making that one again so that's the first one now the next thing I haven't made it yet but I'm going to show you what I intend on doing so the first idea I have, so this is black fabric that I've got to work on and it's it's a, a sateen, so it's a cotton sateen. Now this dress I'm wearing is a viscose chalet and it is this pattern that I'm going to show you. 
and I do keep, I wear it a lot, it's really comfy and it's another one that I tend to wear with long sleeve tops under it when it's cooler and tights. So I will still wear it even when it's cool. So if you've not seen it before, it's got a button band and it sort of gathers in to this shape section here look. There's a few little pleats at the back. I have took it in twice since I made it because it's another one that was quite loose fitting even when I chose my correct sizing and also this I found that the sleeve came down a little too far for me so I've shaped that up a little as well but that's just me I'm very funny like that if I try things on after and then I wear them a few times sometimes I go back and just tweak them a little bit and that's what I've done with this so my plan was if I I'll bring it this side because we can see better with the light from the window if I make this one in black I had thought the button band down the front, I might do a sort of tortoise shell sort of button just to lighten the whole thing up. So it'll still be a black dress, but if it has the lighter button on, it'll stop it looking so harsh and maybe give it a little bit more interest. And then also you can do the version here that, again, like with the previous dress, this sleeve will come into a mini band at the top. So again, just changing it ever so slightly. And I might just go a little longer if I make it in black. So that's what I'm thinking for that one. Now, my original thought was I saw a really nice dress on the Cezanne website. So I don't buy clothes from there. Very expensive. But I do like to have a look. There wasn't as much that jumped out at me this time. Usually I love everything when I have a look, but quite a lot of uh, styles that weren't really for me but there was a dra black dress that I really loved but then on further thinking about it the sleeve was quite puffed here it came into a full sleeve with a cuff it was a very long dress it had lots going on I did start to think all that black with it being so long and a very full long sleeve might not suit me I can wear black, but I think too much, too done up, head to toe, long sleeves. Thinking about it, I just don't, I think it might be a bit dreary, especially in the winter months. So while I do like to wear black, I think it's nice to break it up with something else. And I think if you're having a shorter sleeve and you're having a different colour button, things like that, that can break it up. So that's why I'm thinking of this idea with a tortoise shell button. So I've sort of shelved the Cezanne dress for now maybe I'll do it in a different colour but for black fabric I'm thinking this one so this one view view B that's my thought for the black fabric so I have been doing a few other bits and bobs and I've also been getting to things that I've put away that needed little things doing to them so I had a couple of tops that I thought, oh, this needs to come in a little bit, or I need to fix the sleeve on that, or sometimes we have repairs, don't we, where buttons have come off of people's clothes and stuff like that. So I've done a bit of that, and I've also got a dress in my wardrobe here that last year I did notice that the facing, when I'd made it, I'd made it quite some time ago, and I wore it a number of times. When I wear it, the facing, it's a pattern fabric, and it's faced with a hot pink colour on the inside, and I did feel that that was sort of rolling, even though it's been understitched, it was sort of rolling to the outside. That's going to be something I've done, I know, but it was annoying me every time I wore it. And I do like the dress. So I pulled that out of the wardrobe in the other room. I've popped it in here as a to-do job. And what I'm going to be doing is I think I'm going to top stitch it. So I'm going to top stitch it down so that it can't do that anymore. And then it won't get on my nerves anymore. And then I'll be able to continue wearing it. So oddly enough, even though it is a really lightweight dress, don't tend to wear it so much in the summer, but I will wear it. It's another one that I wear layered. So it's really bright, bold colours, but it will be coming out in the future weeks to wear with uh, either a sweater over and tights or a long sleeve top underneath. And it's all different colours. So I'm going to get that sorted out and then that'll be ready to wear. So I've got my green dress finished, my black dress that I'm going to start tomorrow and then I have a few more plans. Now I do have a few gaps in terms of cardigans. I 
did think I might knit one, but then I've sort of taught myself out of that at the moment. Or I have knit in the past, but it takes me so long. And then if you don't like them when you're finished, that's an awful lot of hours wasted, isn't it? So uh, I do enjoy doing it though. I enjoy it while I'm doing it, but then if I don't like the thing at the end, um, the yarn's not cheap. It's quite expensive these days and it is very time intensive. I'll have a think. I did a bit of crocheting last year and the year before and made a few things, hats and wrist warmers and things like that, and a cowl. But it's whether I want to go the whole hog and actually knit a jumper. So we'll see. But definitely some sweatshirting ones to fill in a few gaps and possibly a new hoodie. I'm thinking quite a hot pink for a hoodie actually. I'd quite like that for the winter and possibly a couple of sweatshirts. Please let me know in the comments below what you're up to. I'd love to know what you've got planned for your autumn makes. I don't tend to follow trends, I just tend to like what I like. So maybe you're the same. Well that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.